Hello and welcome. We are going to introduce you to the new English reading paper format, which is paper one. For your information, there are five parts in the new format. However, we are just going to talk about the first part of the paper, which is part one. Okay, in part one, there are three testing focuses. So the first one is understand the main points in text on a wide range of familiar topics and some unfamiliar topics. Two. Understand specific details and information in text on a wide range of familiar topics. And three, guess the meaning of unfamiliar words from clues provided by other words and by context on a wide range of familiar topics and some unfamiliar topics. There are eight number of items in part one, namely eight questions. For each question, there is a short text, which is not more than 90 words. Followed by a three option multiple choice, which are A, B, and C. Now, let's look at the learning objectives. By the end of the lesson, pupils will be able to understand at least two out of three main points in text on a wide range of familiar topics and some unfamiliar topics about people and culture, health and environment, and consumerism and financial awareness. Two, Understand at least two out of three specific details and information in text on a wide range of familiar topics about science and technology, people and culture, and consumerism and financial awareness. And three, get at least one out of two meanings of unfamiliar words from clues provided and some unfamiliar topics about science and technology and health and environment. So based on the learning objectives, we can see that there are eight questions prepared in this video. All of them are based on the four teams, which are people and culture, health and environment, consumerism and financial awareness, and also science and technology. So let's look at the success criteria. Students can or are able to answer at least five out of eight multiple choice questions in the reading paper part one accurately. Without further ado, let's look at the questions, shall we? The following questions are under the theme of people and culture. Let's look at the first question. The first question is about my mate and I. So the question says, which of the following is true? Based on the question itself, we can see that it tests whether you understand specific details and information in text on a wide range of familiar topics. Let's look at the options and the highlighted details from text to find the correct answer. Option A. Arjun is a crazy person and loves football. So from the text itself, we can see that Arjun is very sporty and he's crazy about badminton. Therefore, option A is incorrect because Arjun loves badminton, not football. Option B. Arjun loves chatting on the phone and playing online games. So from the text, you can see the writer of the text and Arjun always chat on the phone or online and play online games. Therefore, option B is correct. Option C, Arjun spends his time by relaxing. If you can read from the text, you can see that Arjun mostly spends his time chatting on the phone or online, playing online games, plays in the school badminton team, watching music videos, and learning dance moves. So he doesn't spend his time by relaxing. Therefore, option C is incorrect. And the only correct answer is option B. Now let's look at question number two. It is about the culture of Malaysia. From the article above, we know that. So based on the question itself, you can see that it is actually test whether you understand the main points in the text on a wide range of familiar topics and some unfamiliar topics. Let's look at the options. Option A. Malaysia is not influenced by the East or West. If you can see from the text itself, Malaysia is diverse and a land of influences from both the East and the West. Therefore, A is incorrect because Malaysia is influenced by the East and the West. For option B, Malaysia only has Western cultures. However, if you look at the text, this combined with Western sensibilities. 
So it shows that Malaysia has a combination of Eastern and also Western cultures. So option B is incorrect. And option C, Malaysia is unique and has a lot of ethnics. If you look at the text, you can see that with an eclectic population spanning various ethnic groups, it shows that Malaysia has a lot of ethnic groups. Therefore, the correct answer is C. The next questions are based on the theme on science and technology. Question number three is about PDPR. If you look at the question, the following are the factors which need to be taken into consideration, except all right, so this question is actually testing whether you understand specific details and information in text on a wide range of familiar topics. So let's look at the options and the highlighted details in the text to find the correct answer. Option A, the internet connection. So from the text above, we can see that internet access actually means the same thing as the internet connection. Therefore, A is actually one of the factors which need to be taken into account. Option B, the cost of the device. From the text above, the price of the gadget has the similar meaning as the cost of the device. Therefore, it is also one of the factors which need to be taken into account. Option C, the online classes. So from the text above, you can see that both factors from A and B are the one which need to be taken into consideration only for the online classes to happen. Therefore, C is not the correct answer. Let's move on to question number four. Question number four is about social media deals. Okay, let's look at the question. When you are told to control your privacy settings, it means you. From the question, you can see that it actually tests on whether you can guess the meaning of unfamiliar words from clues provided by other words and by context. Let's look at the options. A. Tag those who control your Facebook account. So from tagging people in the text above, you can see that you are just tagging friends when you are posting pictures of them and it doesn't mention anything about Facebook account. Therefore, A is wrong. Option B, remove friends who alter your privacy settings. So from the text above, when you are removing friends, it is because they are blasting you with negative D. Therefore, B is wrong too. Option C, decide what people can see on your social media. In the text above, we can look and see that keep up with the changes that Facebook makes to those privacy settings. Therefore, option C, you change those privacy settings and then people will only be able to see what you decide what they can see. Therefore, the answer is C. Next, the questions are about consumerism and financial awareness. For question 5, it's about elder vacuum cleaner. Let's look at the question. Which statement is true about elder vacuum cleaner? So based on the question itself, you can see that it tests whether you understand the main points in text on a wide range of familiar topics and some unfamiliar topics. Let's look at the options. Option A, it wastes electricity. So from the text itself, we can see that consuming 80% less electricity. So option A is incorrect because it doesn't waste as much electricity. Option B, it does not have wire. So if you look at the word cordless, it means no wire. Therefore, option B is correct. Okay, let's look at option C. Option C, it says it needs a lot of storage space. But if you look at the text, easy wall mount storage, that means whatever you mount on the wall doesn't consume as much space. Therefore, option C is incorrect and the only correct answer is B, it does not have wires. For the next question, it's about a job vacancy on sales representatives. The question is, which of the following is true? 
So this is testing whether you understand specific details and information in text on a wide range of familiar topics. Option A, applicants should write into the advertiser. If you look at the text, they would like you to call instead of writing. Therefore, option A is incorrect. Option B, the advertiser needs someone who speaks two languages. If you look at the text above, you can see, able to speak English and Bahasa Melayu. Therefore, option B is correct. Whereas option C, the advertiser needs someone who is at least 35 years old. That means, who is 35 years old and above, older than 35 years old. So if you look at the text, it says below 35 years old, which is 35 years old and below, younger. Therefore, option C is incorrect. And the only correct answer here is option B. Now we'll move on to our last two questions, which are based on the team health and environment. For question number seven, it is about protecting the wetlands. Let's look at the questions. The extra above tells us that our wetlands. Based on the question, you can see that it tests whether you understand the main points in text on a wide range of familiar topic and some unfamiliar topics. Let's look at the option. Option A, need to be conserved. The word conserved means protect. Therefore, we need to protect the wetlands from the text above matches with A. Option B are not the habitat of the wildlife. So from the, option, uh, from the text above, we can see that the wetlands are a heaven for wildlife and are a part of our natural heritage. So heaven for wildlife means it is a safe place for the wildlife. So it is the habitat of the wildlife. Therefore, option B is incorrect. Option C increases the world's wealth. The wetlands are among the world's richest ecosystem. So in the text, it is talking about a rich ecosystem, but not about the wealth. Therefore, option C is incorrect. And the only correct answer is A. For our next question, it's about women have babies with Down syndrome. So the question is, when something happens randomly, it means. So what is being tested in the question you have just seen, it is actually testing whether you can guess the meaning of unfamiliar words from clues provided by other words and by context. So let's look at the options. Option A, it happens accidentally. So from the text itself, it is an accident of nature. So it doesn't mention anything about randomly, therefore option A, incorrect. Option B, it could happen to anyone. So it could happen to anyone means randomly, which is what we can see from the text above. Therefore option B is correct. And option C, it is compulsory to happen to women who conceive after the age of 35. The word here is compulsory, which means must happen. But if you look at the text a woman's chance of having a Down syndrome baby increases with age, especially after 35. It says the chances increase, not compulsory. Therefore, C is incorrect and the only correct answer is B. It could happen to anyone.